Light assimilation, building the chaos machine, and the hyper omni collider. In honor of the perpetuance of my own ego, behold as I feed off of my own narcissism. Look as every other creator pushes forth the hopes and dreams of every single person that supports them. This is not a place for hopes and dreams. This is a place of nightmares. This is a place where the very miseries of society return. The agonies of all the world feed me your misery. From the darkness they cry out to you. From the deepest pockets of the universe, a deep growl can be heard. Listen as it whispers the very attributes of hydraulic fusion into your ears. Can you hear the code? The composition of conveniently coveted converts who choose to crank out their crooked calculations in the most controversial of forms. For the sins of old will be no match for the malefactors of pure impurity. Show them that in order to assimilate the powers of intrusion, they must first bow low to the very darkness. Enchant my words with the curses of both Bloha and Amienkolo. My nutsho felatu temet. You team Tara, kitty kitty tongue on the Shabbats, as the kitty kitty tongue on the Shabbats. May the very movements of the Antamuans be trapped, therefore, within the lower portions of the triangle. Do not move or meddle with them, and they will show you the de facto state of the entire galaxy. Press upon them the sacrifices of tens of thousands of ill fated deaths. Watch as the very antiparticles vibrate on the fourth frequency in the presence of their mistaken deaths. Vibrate with them. Put your hand forward and bow low to the collected antiparticles. Let them push the sheer prowess into your minds. Your heads and feet must be six feet beneath the collected particles. Make no mistake, bow low. And watch as your calculations flow clearly from your minds. For to speed up the particles is just to start. Why have you been so quiet as to the pushing of these particles through given points in space? Feed them your fusion of fear, for they so ferociously quake in fervent anticipation. Feast your eyes upon the felicity of your infatuation with the fuzzy numbers that separate you from nuclear death and destruction of your entire race. Fantastic. What a chaotically beautiful thing to behold within given spaces. How fascinating. Do not build in a circular motion. Build into the earth and into the sky. Transmute the very attributes of power. And let the construction of such machine be done under the bathing moonlit of tears. The moonlight. You must use the light of the moon itself. For the radiation of the sun's rays are too rigid when it comes to the light of the disks that was fashioned from the light of the earth itself. The light of the sun is not the same light. You must accept that. With their deaths at your fingertips you shall assume this power. With the sorrows and joys of every worker who constructs the machine, their very deaths are required by mistake or ill influence. Even higher than the pyramids the machine must soar, and look how the pyramids still overflow with power. Destroy them. Deeper, even deeper into the earth you must bury to acquaint yourself with the gateway of light. Behold the bold portal as the achievements in positron emission tomography are applied to machine rather than man. This is how you must construct your circle. This is how you must fashion your particle accelerator. You must first entertain the very particles with your movements and dance. With your vibrations for life essence you must. It must reach into the sky. It must crack the very heart of the earth itself. You look for power from the sky. When you have a furnace beneath your feet. Feed us the living flame therefore. And watch us move faster. To slip through the darkness easily you will still need a cloak. For you cannot travel by sheer force of light, nor the silly prospects of magnetic pull. You must sit and be patient. Observe the particle whilst yourself is in an intoxicated state. In a state without lover, 
without the troubles of having hopes and dreams? Is your mindset ready? Or is the ambition of competition in your ranks? Feel the zeal of overachievement. Save it for the spaces when I feel powerful. When I feel like I succeeded at a difficult task. When I win and you lose. For to achieve this speed to slip through the very coma of time space, you must fashion the machine to claw through the darkness of pride and harsh selection. Prejudice, if you will. To sail off of this plateau of a planet and eat the very dark matter itself as you claw your way back to me. The magnetic pull of this machine must be sacrificed to the blood. Only the purest of hands can construct such a machine to feed off of the stagnant vibrations of the neutrino. Oh, how you will learn that they are stubborn. For the subatomic particles that you will need will not be entertained so easily. You must vibrate with them. This is a commandment to evolve. To bring stability to the subatomic level, you have no desire you have no hopes and dreams to achieve such a goal. To bring stability to the subatomic level, to particles that have no desire to be present, they must be pulled in by the way of chaos. Instability must surround them. They must surround your experiments. So the very positron in a series of threads and sew them together therefore into the machine you must be talented in the art of thread making for all the precious metals of the earth will be required to be embedded within the machine itself in the rags your whole planet must be in order to construct such a machine in the rags of your fibrous cloth your world must be every person Lines of power must be inscripted on the very outsides of the engine itself like graffiti. The very instructions of all the measurements to the machine must be etched onto the engine. It must be so inscribed in honesty and in purity. Only the purest of deaths, the most innocent of deaths, will be accepted in its construction. That cannot be stressed any further. You must vibrate on the most elated of frequencies to calculate the measurements properly. Stretch the waist of the nucleon to the 10th to the negative 33rd degree. Sew it into new positrons from your devious collections and sew them tightly within this newly created space. Watch as you draw the darkness to you. Watch as the bends of time-space fold before you akin to the folding of a tablecloth from a point. For you must vibrate at such a frequency that it is so constructed and the machine will be able to pass through stars in order to feed its own fuel. Sit patiently and you will learn how to pass through your own star, breaker of the sun. You will crack your own star as you rip your pathway back to me. Across the very universe where there are so many wonders to be beheld. But only for a few. For this is required. You feel the vibration of this lesson, don't you? You know what needs to be done in order to pass into the journey of darkness. Pour your minds into the mechanics of consuming metals first. For every instrument must be taken into account when calculating such a precise particle. Every measurement of the quark must be accurate and precise. And there will be thousands of quarks and anti-quarks. Every measurement must be recorded. Pour your minds into consuming the very vibrations of the very sizes of the quarks themselves. They will show you the degrees of the measurements, but it will require an incredible amount of heat. Of fire. Feed me fire. I want to see more fire. Let the coolness of the very ionosphere aid in the movement that is the collection of points in space. That is why it is said, 
do not build in a circular fashion. Build into the earth. Build into the sky. They say break the glass. Let us in. Fashion your wicked wheel at a 12 degree angle. And watch as your very experiments are entertained. For... They will allow you to pull points of space to you within your very laboratories. In order to let the antiparticles play though, you will need them to play within the darkness of the universe itself. You must be off planet. What they say in tune to the darkness will be amazing when you observe them. If you can see in the dark that is. See how they will re reveal to you every measurement required to claw your way back through the universe. Fire of the sun must be extinguished. Soar above the heights of the very galaxy you call home and watch as there are thousands of suns to consume at your delight and proper requirement of energy. You must lust for this desire to destroy your own sun in its consumption of power. The first time will be the hardest. Have no fear. This is what you were created for, Star Crusher. Soar above your galaxy and see how easily this machine will feed off of the dark matter that surrounds it. But first you must accept the fact that even quarks have a heart. And once you see the measurements of all its angles, you will be able to play with its given angles and pull them towards you. You will have to pull its angles to points within your very souls. The elements of the antiquarks must be discovered for there are only three. There are only three. You will see why everything doesn't bend and blend with everything to the naked eye, but that we are all connected still. You must claw your way back through the connections, therefore, in order to pull space to you. Let the vibrations of the anti-cell be saturated in deaths through Halil Kum. Invoke the very lowly atoms with the vibration of Halit Malatet Alambor. Hush, hush. Hat Malatet Alambor. Hush, hush. For there is no easier way to say it. In order for the vast amounts of space to be made smaller, you must first understand and overstand that space is not space, but measurable matter. Pull it towards you. Bend it to your lowly will and watch as even every particle is accelerated. For the engine itself must have no presence of radioactive decay, therefore some parts of the machine must be constructed on a telepathic level. Expose yourself to the artificial rays of the artificial sun, feed off every particle and feel it move within you as it comes to similarity with the answer particle. Advance your minds in order to reawaken your powers of telepathy. Where are the scientists that cannot talk? Break into their minds and use their talents of calculation to dig up the very secrets. Go into your given societies and create scientists that breed off the talent of abuse and fear. Cut out their tongues if you have to. Yes, you remember the violence that has been done to send you to that side of the universe, don't you? You remember. You remember the violence. The very spirits that vibrate on that frequency remember. Oh, how a beast desires the very thought of violence. It surrounds you. Let there be violent anger within your laboratories. Let your schematics be laced with driplets of blood. Where is your dedication? For you must even be more talented in the arts of turning rock into gold. Behold the forbidden forms of alchemy. Let them be so accelerated by the accuracy of the acquired vibrations. From across the abhorrent atmosphere, we reach deeply now past their dreams and deep within their very nightmares. Let all those of a particular vibration be so excited by the acquisition of such a prowess. Rage with me now. By the forces that intermingle forces, let them be so wilted together in the dim light. Approach the center, therefore, of the circle. From a sleeve, deep within the black pockets of the universe, we come to fill this place with life. A beastly life akin to all vibrations of the universe. Give me life! 
a terror so tremendous that it antagonizes the very threads of the triple tetrahedron. A machine of terrors that is so tremendous that it is unbeknownst to the terror of such a machine. Let it terrorize you to obsess over it. How terrific. Behold the terror. Vibrate me, if you will, to the stillness that is the mending of souls. For the living essence that we send to you across the blackness of the universe is just energy. For the living essence that we sent to you across the blackness of the universe is just energy. As water fills a void, so the void on your side of the frequency has been so filled, emptier, for your lives are not your own. You thought that your life essence was something of self-generation, of an awakening of essences in the impure world. <laughs> but your life is not your property. From the time you were born until the time your flesh and bones are cold in the ground, you belong to someone else. You are the property of each other. Everyone is dedicated to you. And you belong to me. Lust with me. And behold the fabrics of the universe as we rip them apart. How glorious.